What you're looking at on the right side is a stream from NASA. Um, you can also find it on nasa.gov and Facebook. Uh, on the left is the sun as it appears right now here in Austin. Uh, we've got a series, it's called the Heliostat, a series of mirrors and lenses to bring the light from the, the roof of this building and project it directly on the, the wall in this room. So these are photons from the sun itself that, are, that, that, that you're seeing, no, no video image. Um, we're just a couple minutes away from the maximum point of the eclipse. Uh, we've got uh, here inside the RLM building on the 13th floor, we've got, uh, it, we're in this room where we've got a heliostat. Um, it's essentially a series of, of mirrors and lenses that bring light down from, from the roof and project the light of the sun onto the wa wall of this, uh, in the room here. Um, in addition to that, we've handed out a, a few pairs of eclipse glasses that people can use themselves. We ran out of those, unfortunately, very early on. Um, but then also outside, we've got people with uh, telescopes with filters over them so that you can look at, at the sun through the telescope and see a magnified view of, of what's going on. But these eclipses, uh, historically, are, are one of the ways that, that we learned even how our own solar system worked. The fact that the, the moon is between us and the sun, um, it, it gives us information about how large the moon and sun are relative to, to the Earth and how far away that they are. Um, so events like this are a great opportunity for, for people to, to see these things actually happening and, and you know, re remind us that there's a lot going on in our universe outside of our, our own daily lives.